Welcome everyone. It's Icelina Verano from La Verano Lake House. I'm not going on camera because I'm in my pajamas, but I wanted to give you a tour of the La Verano Lake House tiny house that's on Airbnb. Uh, that was built by uh, Bunky Life uh, using their 2019 uh, loft model. And I'm just gonna show you the loft, which I set up uh, up here, which is absolutely adorable and really spacious, all considering the fact that this uh, Bunky is about, uh, oh gosh, I think it's about 10 by 12. 12 roughly uh actually no eight and a half by 12 i believe anyway this is the bedroom and it's very relaxing and it's decorated right now uh in our winter theme that's a little tiny generator for the loft bedroom and some storage there that people can use for their devices or if they want to bring the portable uh, movie player up there and uh, it runs out of battery they can plug it in uh, there's a off-grid uh, ceiling fan that I got from Amazon, uh, which is a lot of stuff I source from Amazon as well. There is an off-grid beautiful light fixture that is run by batteries. So you can see it up there. Uh, and it's that's from Giant Tiger, which is a Northern Ontario store, which is amazing. A lot of the decorative items I've got in this place are from Habitat for Humanity Restore, which is a fantastic source for antique furniture, vintage stuff. Um, that little table, that chair was from there. I had it painted or I painted it with uh, chalk paint. You see my sheepskin rug uh, that I have out for the winter. It's so cozy down there. I have also uh, layered a cowhide underneath it. And also, if you can see, those are foam um, tiles that I use as an extra layer of insulation. Because even though we did uh, uh, insulate the bottom of the bunkie, it still gets quite chilly. But that has really helped. My guests have not complained of the cold. This is a shelf unit. When I go down, I'll show you more. That I paid $25 on Marketplace uh, and painted it with chalk paint. Uh, this is a safety bar that people t normally use for bathrooms that I use as a handrail. A lot cheaper than a regular metal handrail. I got that on Amazon. The other handrail is just decorative, and you'll see it downstairs when I take you downstairs. That's an old oar that we found in our boathouse that I tra uh, transformed into a decorative handrail. This is, I'm going down now, and you can see how spacious that uh, bunkie is. It's gorgeous. I leave beautiful plush bathrobes for my guests and slippers and uh, lots of nice cozy things for them so that they get, stay nice and uh, warm while they're in our bunkie. Um, so that's a handrail from Ikea. If you look at the steps, I'm going to explain a little bit about the step construction. This did not come with the bunkie build. I built this from uh, a very popular toy shelf from Ikea. So if you look at the three lower ones, I basically built, that's a separate unit, and then there were two units that were taller from Ikea that I uh, uh, linked together, and then I, I boarded uh, it with extra boards that came with the bunkie um, over it to reinforce it, and it's great. It fits in my adorable little electric fireplace. Uh, that's not the only heat source in here because they'd freeze if it was, if it was. but it's perfect for that. The movies uh, for this wonderful movie player, which looks like, um, let's see if I can open this with one hand. Uh, this thing is one of the best things I ever bought. It is a DVD player. My guests love it because I leave them a whole bunch of movies that I have selected myself and labeled and critiqued. Um, it's fantastic. I got it from Amazon. If you don't have Wi-Fi, it's a perfect alternative. There's that beautiful $25 shelf I was talking about. This chaise was from Marketplace. I think I paid $100 for it and I um, 
uh, did new sleep co uh, slip covers for it. I sewed them. They weren't that hard um, and it fits perfectly. This um, is a ottoman I got on Marketplace for like $20 and I covered it with an HBC blanket. One of my favorite, um, uh, you know, themes is HBC. If anybody knows me, they know that. This little shelf is actually um, uh, from Pottery Barn and it's supposed to be uh, uh, to use for beer. Uh, so it lays down flat on the ground, but I thought it would make a great shelf for our beautiful little ethanol fireplace, which I should have lit, I guess, uh, before I started. Uh, it's fantastic. It gives off a, quite a bit of heat when you light it. My guests love it. Um, here is the kitchenette. That little sink is from a doctor's office that was dismantled and uh, it was in an exam room and I paid $100 for that and an upper shelf, which I'm not using in the bunkie. Uh, that shelf is from um, a local vintage store in town. This is my generator, the main generator for the cabin because this is mainly an off-grid cabin. It's from Aim Tom. It's the 540. It is amazing. Uh, it uh, really gives a lot of power for the sink uh, to power up devices. As you can see, I have all these different um, jacks for different types of phones and things. It is a really good uh, alternative uh, for uh, um, uh, an off-grid cabin. Uh, this tiny little fridge, which is adorable, is from Best Buy, excuse my slippers. It is a really cute little fridge and it's big enough. This is an off-grid water system, by the way. If you can see, you probably can't, uh, there's a, a bucket for gray water or like a, a, a container for gray water and the container for water isn't in there right now. And essentially uh, the pump uh, draws the water from one of the tanks and when the wastewater goes into the gray uh, water tank and that's pretty much it, it's pretty easy. This is a one cup coffee maker. And the reason why I put that one in there is because if you're in an off-grid cabin, power is at a premium. So this is only like 200 watts of power for coffee, which doesn't use up or doesn't blow the fuses uh, for the limited electrical power that this cabin has, um, which was installed so that it could power this lovely unit that is two burner unit that has um, some wonderful um, uh, power uh, to, you can cook, make a cake in there. All the cutlery is stored in this little um, chest of drawers and cabinet that I got at um, Marketplace. I'm a terrible film or whatever that is, but I'm trying to show you what I got. This is a tiny little wine fridge that I got and my guests love it because they can put their beverages in there instead of using up um, the uh, space in the mini fridge um, and it doesn't use a lot of power. This was an old spice rack I got from the ReStore and I repurposed it uh, as a little shelving unit for spices and coffee and things. That was a fireplace caddy for uh, matches and things that I use now for all the utensils. This is a little closet and it actually has a lot of room up there. There's a hanging um, rod there for coats. Um, there's shelves, sorry, bins that can be used for clothing down there. You can see down there. It's actually pretty spacious in here. Uh, perfect for two people. And so far, all my guests have loved it. And I am now going to show you the bathroom bunkie, which was also built uh, by Bunkie Life. Uh, and you uh, will see uh, some of the great ideas I put in there. So thanks for coming along on the tour. I hope you enjoyed it.